Hello, my name is Christopher Lee. I'm the culinary director for Accor Hotels in North and Central America. Coming here today, live from my home um, in Miami Beach, Florida, during these scary times. Um, I know a lot of you have been wondering what chefs are doing. Well, we're cooking. We're cooking a lot. Um, in this household, especially, you know, we've been doing the quarantine meals for the last three weeks, coming up with a different dinner every day. And it's been great because we're educating our kids on, on the world of food. So we're going to run through a couple of recipes today. Um, come, some of them are, are near dear to our hearts because we're from the Northeast. And, you know, New England clam chowder is a big thing, a part of our lives. And steamed mussels is one of my wife's favorites. And we're going to serve it with corn on the cob bib lettuce, and uh, some sourdough bread. All the ingredients that were purchased today were bought at the local Publix. First, we're gonna start with some olive oil. And we're gonna start to sweat the ingredients. So we're gonna first have onion, there's some fennel, celery, and carrots. And actually, we're also gonna add garlic. We're looking for a change some color and the vegetables, but the idea is no caramelization. For the other ingredients, we're gonna add a little bacon, you want that smoky pork flavor in the soup. We're gonna add some clams and the clam juice, our clam broth or our stock. And we're gonna bring the heat up. We're also gonna add our oregano and a thyme at this stage. Okay, oregano and thyme are good examples of cooking herbs. So cooking herbs means they develop flavor over time. So we're gonna actually, over time, that's kind of funny. We're gonna put that in there and let it go and then it's going to cook all together now this soup we're going to go for at this stage for about 45 minutes we're going to bring it to a simmer and go for about 45 minutes so i want to add the potatoes about halfway through the process about when i add the cream to the soup Ooh, smells great all right so we're at our next stage right now next stage is going to be adding our potatoes into the soup plus our heavy cream Ooh, there we go get it all in there a couple of mixes and we're gonna go ahead and simmer this now for another about 20 30 minutes i'm gonna be adding the roux into this soup probably in about 10 minutes and the roux is flour and butter once the butter's melted we're gonna be adding the flour right into the butter and we're gonna make a paste i like to temper my roux um and this prevents roux balls all right here we go now we'll add that to the soup and this will give us our really thick clam chowder that we're looking for we're getting close there we're, uh, we're actually maybe about five minutes away from serving so i want to finish the the chowder we don't have to add too much salt we already tasted this so we're just going to a little bit more but important fact we add some black pepper um, big fan of the fresh ground black pepper and then we're going to finish it with fresh dill some parsley and then I like that a little fresh lemon to it. And there we go. Our chowder is pretty much done. In this pot, we're gonna start the mussels. Once again, we're going back to our, what we talked about earlier about sweating. So we're gonna add garlic, um, celery, fennel, shallot, and tomato. And we're gonna sweat since we're dealing with seafood again. We got a nice little sweat onto our mirror bar or vegetable. I'm gonna add um, thyme and some fresh dill. I'm gonna add the mussels, and then I'm gonna deglaze with about a cup of white wine. Now I'm gonna let that simmer off till all the mussels are open, and we're pretty much good to go. We'll finish with a little butter, a little lemon, a little salt, a little pepper, maybe a little olive oil, and that's it. So we want to say thank you for joining us today um, as we enjoy our New England feast with New England clam chowder, steamed mussels. Uh, corn, a little bit of lettuce, and some fresh sourdough bread that we made yesterday. But thank you again, and I uh, look forward to seeing you soon.